Hello, my name is Richard and I teach English to Czech students. In this series of videos, I want to focus on the commonest mistakes that my students make when speaking in English. Today, we're going to look at the verb bidlet and how students often have a problem when they translate bidlet into English. Our first sentence up here says bidlel sem v Praze. This is easy, there's no problem here. We just say bidlel sem, I live. V in Praze Prague. So we can translate that literally. I lived in Prague. Bidlal sem v Praze. Perfect. However, our second sentence, Bidlal sem v hotelu v Praze. Logically, we think this should be the same. I lived in a hotel. In Prague. Good? Easy? No, it's not good. The problem is here. The verb to live and using lived. So, if you are permanently in a location for a longer period of time, you have your roots, you're paying your bills, etc., uh, etc., et you live there. You live there. However, if you're in somewhere for a shorter period, for example, when you're on holiday, you're there for a few weeks, you don't live somewhere when you're on holiday, but you stay. So, bidlet, bidlet could be translated as to live, or to stay. So you need to be careful with that. So if we go back to this sentence, bydlal jsem v hotelu v Praze, this should be I stayed in a hotel in Prague. Okay. I should point out, it could be I lived in a hotel in Prague, but if you say I lived in a hotel in Prague, it means that that is the place you are in for a long time. You're not there for a week or two weeks or three weeks. It means that you're actually living in the hotel. It's your permanent residence for a year, two years, three years. And there aren't many people who have enough money to live in hotels. So for normal people, if we're using hotels, we're going to use the verb stay. I stayed in a hotel. Okay, so in the future, if you're speaking with an English person, you want to tell them about your holidays, you could say, when I was in Croatia, I stayed in a beautiful hotel next to the ocean. Okay, stay. So I hope that lesson was very useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll be posting another video soon. Bye.